Let's go over some pro Cosmeteer tips and tricks. You can trade with other cargo ships and not just the station. Just like their stations, you can also hire crew. This also applies to combat ships. If a combat ship isn't busy, you can also trade with them. In this case, that combat ship is busy. You should have some kind of spy ship to run around the entire game. As you can see, this ship here, it goes very fast at around 130 meters a second. It can teleport with its hyperdrive. It has storage for picking up any kind of diamonds, but not much. It's working on the speed. It only takes a couple of crew. And it's fairly cheap to make. And one thing is it has the sensors. You can travel this around the entire map and explore everything. So you get all the mission credits for exploring stuff. And you also get to know where everything is. Never forget the importance of sensors. As you can see here, I'm going into an enemy station with a lot of stuff around. I can stay out of range and take a look at the station, plan around its weak points. In order to create new ships, I suggest pushing the build button, go click these hamburger button, paste into existing, whatever you're creating, blueprint, smack it down. Get a little structure line. Go in, uh, place an explosive charge, and then make it sell. There's your new ship. You do need to transfer crew to it. Quickly blow it up. And the funny thing is, is in order to create another one, all you gotta do is repair. Blow it up, and to take over these, you just need to go to a. Uh, Transfer crew. They're all gonna have the same name as the mothership. Make sure to use markers so you know where important places are on the map. You can like if there's a dead ship somewhere after you want to fight, uh, you don't want to lose track of it. Just go click and put dead ship or something like that to remove a marker. Click on the marker thing, right click, and it's gone. When repairing. If you can't afford to do the complete repair, in this case I can, but if you can't afford to do the complete repair, you can repair individually. This can help any crew because it'll save them from having to pick up that stuff off the ground. It goes instantly into the repair. Because of crew limitations that you'll particularly run into in the early game, it makes sense to have two ships. One for all your fighting, that's built around fighting and doesn't have anything for the looting, and another for looting. When you get longer into the game, I suggest having a leadership carry like long range weapon like missiles on the side. Just because you already have the engines and everything, might as well slap a gun on it. In the building menu, I always suggest building with blueprint. It's easier, it's better, just do it. Down here is your mirror mode. You can always turn it on and off, but don't forget you can slide it around sideways, including in the middle of a block, and right click on it, and then you can change it horizontal, both, diagonal, both diagonals, eight way. You can slide even these eight ways around. Another thing is when building the brush. You can have the one size. You can have like your bigger sizes, whatever. That goes all the way up to 10. But you can also have lines, boxes. Obviously you guys know what a box is, ovals. Triangles, all that, and the fill. If you don't like what you've done to your blueprint and you want to get rid of it, just click down here, discard modifications. It goes right back. You can also recenter blueprints if you want to fix where your ship is. After winning a fight, repair using the stuff on the ground. It'll save your crew the trouble of having to pick it up. We're going to pick something up it's best to just push it aside and then gather what's on the ground. This is advantageous because it allows your crew to travel much less distance in order to get to where they need to go. Let's stop the crew for now and show you a much faster way to do this. If we can click on the ship, and then click on your burger menu, transfer crew, transfer one crew over. Now we have possession of the ship. Go inside. I'm just gonna go slap down a crew quarter and one airlock hatch. 
then we can go select the rest of the ship gone from here we transfer our crew back to your main ship he's just gonna go right back in he never even left the ship and now we have all this stuff just sitting on the ground what do we do with it you could fly over top of it and have your crew pick it up that's the best way to pick it up but that's too simple instead what I suggest you do is to cheat a little bit probably gonna get patched out but with all that iron on the ground we could just build off of it you notice stuff disappears when you build if you don't see anything leaving the ground it means it's taking out of your ship ship's inventory okay now it's taking out of the ship inventory so what we do is we just delete it all and as you can see it goes into the ship so the crew never had to leave anywhere same goes for these coils we can go build a bunch of these and then delete them and those coils are picked up hyper coils can be done let's get the uranium Let's get those processors. Now let's get the tri-steel. Now all that's left is ammo and some hypermium. You still wanna pick everything up. You could travel on top of it and gather like this. You wanna be on top because everything picks up much faster when you're on top. To get rid of this thing, which is forever gonna be in your ship menu, what you gotta do is uh, you click on a weapon, click the target button. Once they start spraying it, gone. Once you build up a lot of ships, everything's just gonna get chaotic. That's why you wanna have ship organization. As you can see, you have all these different categories to keep everything organized because it's gonna become a mess. You're never gonna find your ships if you need. Some notable categories are the archive for things I'm never gonna look at again, but I might want to in the future. Incomplete things I've gonna come back to later and then career stuff a little bit separate off from the pvp though there's a lot of overlap in between them you can put folders inside of folders how to make these folders by the way is you right click up here new folder folder there you go you can rename delete open upload to steam workshop if you want to create a ship pack for someone to get i'm going to delete that folder a notable thing is my tools folder. When you're testing a ship, it's very convenient to have something to test against. So you, I have a tool for that. This right here is a control room base. If I'm building a ship and I've got a bunch of weapons around a reactor or something, and I need to test that, but I don't want to have to bother building up a control room and engines to make sure it doesn't fly across from knockback. I can load ship, paste into existing, go to my tools, Build this over here it's got the control room and everything else in need in fact you can build a ship out of that as you notice one of my ships has that as a part of it it's very nice to have little pieces like that last thing in my tools folder is my crew rolls this is the preset that i base off of all my crew's rolls on you want to have crew rolls i'm going to be making a video on that soon but you want to have all these crew rules. You're going to modify them for each individual ship. But you have, want to have one ship that's the master. And it has um, save as my default rules. You're going to click that on that ship. If you want to have my crew rules, they're on the Steam Workshop in my ship's pack. I'm going to have it linked in the description. Thanks for watching.